everybody Thomas here and as if we don't have enough things going on around the farm so my wife over there in the distance she's turning the house from grayish color to a blue color really digging the blue I think it's gonna look really good with the cedar and right now she's on the side of the house pressure washing uh, prior to actually getting the uh, uh, the paint put on but the video today is talking about what we have going on here this is uh, the extension onto or the lean-to onto the carport and as you see in the back behind my son's four-wheeler uh, that's where Sheree milks the goats well the problem is is as the sun sets sun beats down quite heavily on her and we also didn't have any parking for the side-by-side -side other than inside the carport all the other the junk that's in there but so a quick and easy solution would be to just add an lean-to or we can actually park this side by side under uh, if you saw my video I posted where I'm sawing up essentially scrap pine boards uh, these are what I use them for these are two by fours uh, on above uh, above us right here and on the sides we've got uh, two by sixes or inch and a half by sixes whichever it came out to be and then I have a few more over here but I did resaw a few more boards after that one video and uh, we're still working on a use for them a lot of the six inch wide boards are going to be studs for the shop over there now the shop's been going pretty well I haven't done a video on it in a while because I've been literally bowed up with all sorts of work uh, cutting on the sawmill and everything and I'll have to show a video or at least I'll show uh, something of the mantle I'm working on working on a pine mantle right now is pretty awesome but I'm down to essentially uh what an eight foot wide piece by however long this is so that's going to be one one and a half logs maybe so getting there last night I, I put a few more boards on here and i'm like scraping and scrounging around trying to get enough boards to finish this out it is getting there it is now friday afternoon uh my goal is to have this silly subfloor done this weekend uh i also have to cut a few other boards for uh, a friend of mine who's building onto his shop. But I'll go ahead and throw on a little time lapse or something. You can see me working around here. Uh, I, I've put all the 2x4s up there. They have not been screwed in. I just went ahead and measured them out. And I'll have to get up there and cut those uh, posts as well. I guess I probably should have did the tops of those posts before. I, sh I did screw down those, those boards there, but you know, there's nothing like running a chainsaw on a ladder, so. Yeah. All right. Stick around. So the other day I was working on the lean to portion getting the rafters all cut up and then I went ahead and cut up some boards that I had sitting around they were actually three quarter inch by eight inch wide I threw them back on the mill resawed them down to four inches wide and still three quarter inch three quarter inch will be plenty I actually added a few more than normal uh, than I would typically do and I'm not gonna actually screw every one of these down uh, I think I might Ah, I probably will screw them all down. I don't know. We do we do live in a hurricane area, so maybe I should uh, err on the side of caution. But I can honestly say everything in this section of the building that I'm doing the lean to has been resawn, with the exception of the two uh, six by sixes that were pressure treated. So overall, pretty happy. I'm, I'm actually starting on the tin right now. I'm gonna throw a time lapse on, and there's a few things I did wrong on the 10 the first time and I'm kind of kicking myself that I did that before you can't really tell but up in here uh, I actually had the metal extending into the building the problem is is right there is my 6x6 six six post so I had to do a cutout on the most I guess the back portion there where there's a 6x6 six six, and here and I'm gonna have to do a cutout on this 6x6 six six and the one down there not really that big of an issue but it would have been really nice if I just had to butt up against it it's a little bit eh, neither here nor there 
but I am gonna have a weird kind of like overhang section here on the inside of the building, which you can't see because there's a ceiling and everything. I do have this piece that overhangs, uh, whereas when I cut the section over here because it's six by six, I just cut the whole piece at one length. So once I get over to the six by six over here, I'm gonna have to do some uh, 10 snips and uh, clean it up. That, nothing too big, nothing too major. Hopefully I can knock it out. But uh, this is gonna be really nice. Hoping to have this done. It's one o'clock now. Have this done so my wife can milk the goats in complete shade uh, later on this evening after they get back from the Yupik farm and uh, go from there. So stay tuned and uh, hope this has uh, been exciting for y'all. Okay, mission complete. Pretty straight roof line. Got the side by side in here. I've got about a foot and a half of clearance uh, in total on either side. Head wise, about a foot and a half or so. But uh, pretty uniform across the board. We shouldn't get too much blow in, even if we get a storm out of the north. I don't think we're gonna get a whole lot of blowing up there in that gap. Uh, Four-wheeler fits perfect, or excuse me, side-by-side -side fits perfectly in there. I may actually be parking the four-wheeler here, getting to get it out of the shop today. And Cherie's over here milking. So she can now milk completely in the shade. And, uh, yeah, mission complete, I think. Big Gwen is uh, producing milk for us. What do you think about a Big Gwen? Yep, producing milk. Overall, though, uh, it was a pretty quick and easy build. About uh, two afternoons and then about an hour and a half today to get this up. And that included the sawing of the wood, the, you know, nailing everything up. I used a concoction or a combination of screws and nails throughout it, uh, two by fours three quarter by four slats and inch and a half by six on my uh, header boards there. But overall, very happy and it's complete. And now I'll move back on to another project, which is gonna be the shop floor. Now the shop floor, I need, essentially need one more log. I think we'll finish this up. <laughs> and I've already cut a couple of my studs. We'll get those hopefully put up starting next week. Uh, this is Sunday afternoon, so after I do all this, I've got to go pick up the four-wheeler. And I think we're going to go camp out tonight on the back side of the property with the kids. Something fun. going to be a beautiful night tonight, about 56 degrees, and yeah, we'll see. All right. Hope you've enjoyed this. Stay tuned, and uh, there'll be more to come. Thanks. Bye.